just the basic process of invoicing. That seems so basic, and in 2023, I'm saying to you something that Jacob probably said to you two years ago. Right. Which is, man, you'd be amazed how many shops manually create and send invoices. And you, know, you might have a shop that, that has customers on net 30 terms. Yep. That 30 days doesn't start until the day they get their invoice, right? Right. So if I take another week or two after I do the work to send the invoice, now all of a sudden I'm floating for 45 days maybe on a net 30 term. So trying to automate something as simple as creating an invoice. Yeah. And then you can back it up into the repair process, right? If I'm gonna automate creating the invoice, well that means the data has to be put into a system to create the invoice automatically. And yeah. when the data is tracked, put into a system and tracked, well then I don't forget to bill things. Right? How many shops are out there that look up and they're, they're doing their cycle counts and they realize they're low on inventory, but they haven't billed mm -hmm. all these parts? Well, that's because they forgot to bill. Yeah. And how many hours did they forget to bill along with those parts? How many shop supply fees did they forget to bill? And when you can automate things, you just don't have the chance to forget. Right? Yeah. And, and that's a big area for people to improve. And this has a big impact on the cash flow of the business because if you're if you're artificially elongating how long it takes for you to get paid, yeah. right? You're extending it because of this inefficiency, then that has that direct impact on how much cash you have available, which impacts how you manage and run your business. It, it absolutely does. And it's just an area that a lot of shop owners don't focus on because you know, they're focused on, let's turn the wrench as many times as yeah. we can, which is great. And we need efficiency at the technician level, but we need to run efficient businesses. And it's critical for the country that the independent shops thrive, right? Yes. Because they flat out, the dealer network cannot support all the maintenance that has to happen. Internal fleets, a lot of them do their own maintenance. A lot of them do some of their own maintenance. Right. 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 The internal, the fleets that have internal shops still rely on the independent guys. Um, and we need those businesses to be strong. And if you're not running a financially strong business, it's going to go away.